Welcome back to ESA Winter 21. My name is Tainted Tally and I will be your host for the next couple of hours. We are here to raise money for Alzheimer funding. Links to donate can be found below the stream. And we would also like to thank Kaspersky, Twitch, and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. Now it is time for Robo Sparkle running Whisked, the story of Whizball 2. Take it away. Thanks very much. Right, to get, kick things off, I think the only way to do it, um, I'm going to be running the lang uh, English language. I was going to do a language uh, country, but I didn't actually think of it until too late. And it doesn't affect nearly enough of um, the, the run to make it worthwhile. Um, instead, you guys donated for a bonus game, which I'm super, super hyped about. Uh, it's Harlequin. It's going to be coming up at the end of the run. It will take three minutes if all goes well, and five minutes if all does not. Um, but... Uh, in order to kind of explain a bit more about WizKid, I, I think the best thing to do is to allow you to witness the opening cutscene uh, from the absolute madmen at Sensible Software. Um, enjoy. All right, so that hat of a chappy in the middle is Whiskid, and he has just exploded, and that is all the story that you need. No, I'm kidding. Um, this is a sequel to the Commodore 64 game Whizball, uh, in which Whizball um, restored music and colour to the land and defeated the evil Zark. So first thing I'm going to do is to not go to the tutorial. Um, uh, if we're ready on time, I'm going to give a quick countdown, and then we'll begin the... Time will start in three, two, one, go. All right, so uh, I hope your floppies are warmed up. Um, this is uh, one of my favorite games of all time. One of the best games probably on the Amiga and an incredibly obscure that most people have not heard of, but it's a classic. Um, it makes very little sense. And sometimes it does make sense. Um, so, <laughs> um, this is WizKid. I'm in head mode at the moment. Uh, what I need to do is, uh, ostensibly, each of these little mini screens, I've got to bash bricks into enemies uh, who are Zark's minions and uh, knock them out. And if I get a little combos, then I can acquire these musical notes. Uh, I have to wait for that note to come off the top of the screen because otherwise it's well, won't allow me to collect it. And I can only have three notes on one time. So you notice this uh, stave at the top. I need to fill it up with the correct colored notes, uh, which is quite RNG, but then there's enough of these enemies going around that it's usually okay. And so I'm down to wanting one single yellow note. Please give me a yellow note. Greens. So quite a bit of this game kind of goes down to um, waiting for that. And there we go, there's my yellow. And get music. I did not earn enough money. Oh, this is bad. Uh, right, I'm going to very quickly get some more notes. Okay, that was just terrible RNG. All right, I need to do this again because I need at least a uh, hundred bucks. And somehow the game just did not give me enough money. That was obscene. I think I had too many enemies when I uh, completed the stave. So this is a very bad start to the run. Oops. Uh, let's hope we can make up for it later. I guess at least, because I've got a very long stave to go next, I don't have to worry too much about building this up for level two, which is more tricky to get bigger staves on. Uh, in this game, you can like aim the bricks, but it's usually just quicker and easier to go ham. And it really doesn't even matter if I, if I miss because the game just goes, oh no, you didn't get rid of all the enemies. Well, here's the next screen. Uh, I need a blue and a red, and it's not gonna give me the blue and the red. Oh, there's the red. 
All right, give me the blue. There's the blue. Oh, the. Okay, good. I think that's the last enemy in this group, so I need to make sure that the blue survives. Okay, now, now we're good. All right, I'm gonna let that go because otherwise it'll give me. Oh. <laughs> I was expecting that to drop down so I wouldn't get the bonus. Right, so we need the token, the newspaper, and the carrot on the stick. Uh, and I need to ring the bell for service. Uh, we'll come back to that later. But first, I need to go down the well. All right, so you can beat the levels uh, in this game by uh, just clearing all the screens, and it will uh, make a kitten appear. I need to rescue the kitten to clear the level. Fortunately, if I pick up the kitten by clearing all the screens, uh, it will actually take me to level four. Now, you might think, ah, oh, level four, that's good, you're skipping part of the game. But the game is impossible to complete unless you uh, rescue all of the kittens. So I'm just going to use the loo. Um, oh, no, it's leaking. And uh, that floods the well. So this is kind of like the puzzle section. So the game is split into two halves. You've got the puzzle sections, which are um, these bits where you've got to collect the items and figure out what you need to do with them. And the head sections, which is the kind of more arcadey elements. Um, a lot of this is very guide dang it style uh, or um, stuff where you just kind of need to have failed lots of times to figure out what you need. Uh, for instance, I picked up the spiked cola. Um, the spikes cola um, in in the in the women's uh, toilets is needed for level four, which in turn is is kind of needed to get the the kitten on that and uh, some other key items. So a lot of this stuff that I'm picking up isn't necessarily used in the same level. I'm gonna get the kilogram weight. I don't need to use the one kilo weight, uh, but that is something that is useful later on for a for a lucky dip. So there's a donkey, donkey friends. Uh, in order to make the donkey go, we need to give him the carrot on the stick. All right, donkey friend forever. We're gonna be traveling forever, best friends forever. Oh no, donkey no. Uh, unfortunately, the donkey fell in the water. The donkey's probably fine. Um, donkeys love water. Um, the tokens for the oxygen, which allows me to breathe underwater, which makes a cat appear because reasons, and that's level one. So, now we are underwater playing Ahoy with mateys. Uh, again, I need to solve the puzzle in this level in order to get to round three, which means collecting all the notes in the stave. And we are good. Right. So first thing off, I've got to clear all the bees that are underwater. I mean, a lot of the enemies are themed around level. Uh, being all good. While you're doing this, Quickly. do we have time for some donations? Oh, hell yes. Go for it. Awesome. So we got $10 from Noops saying, Yeehaw! Good luck to all the runners in the event, and let's hit that five-figure barrier. And then we also got $5 from Anonymous saying, One more for the train. And we also got $5 from our very own Sonari saying, Beep boop, just dropping in saying, Hi Robo, hope you're doing good. Good luck on the rest of the run. Cheers! Thank you all so much for those donations. Oh, thanks very much. That's brilliant. Oh, yeah, we must actually be pretty close to five figures now. Oh. Uh, yeah, just about $400 to go. Nice. Okay, so I'm one note away. So this is actually a really good level two. I did, unfortunately, get a little bit of a mishap with the things. Um, so there's a little glitch in here. So as long as I've got $100, I'm actually fine. I don't need to collect uh, all the money. In fact, I don't have enough. So this is a glitch where if you've got four health and you try to buy health, uh, it gives you um, the money instead. So I need the fishbone key and I need any of these colours of specs. And now I get cool filters. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some notes. Um, this is for level four, in fact. Um, and then, oh yeah, if you guys want to see how the donkey's faring, um, he's fine, he's just having a nap. Anyway, red plus green filter for some reason allows me to go through this door with the fishbone key that I just acquired. And kitten and level three. So level three is the first of several levels in which I do actually need to clear all of the screens uh, in order to progress, which is kind of annoying because it has some annoying screens <laughs> to beat, but I've got to beat them all. Um, I've also got to not fill up my save. Ideally, I want to finish with like a few notes remaining, so I don't really want to collect. I probably want to collect a couple of greens, so I'm not waiting purely for greens in level four. Um, I just want to beat those. This is good. Let the gash. Oh, I did not want that. Actually, no, I did want the green. Well, 
literally said I wanted the green earlier. All right, so uh, you might have noticed that I get power up. So I've, uh, this is like the second time I've got a clown nose. Uh, clown nose allows me to juggle bricks. Uh, make really, really useful in this level in particular. Uh, there's a second one, which is the hypertroppers, which allow me to grab bricks, which is just frankly broken because I can pick up and drop bricks more or less wherever I want. Um, Fortunately, unlike the nose, so the nose, oops, the nose just uh, keeps going until I, I missed. Uh, the nose kind of keeps going until I fail a screen. Uh, the teeth have a time limit. All right, so I do want to get these penguins. Oh yeah, you can drop it by holding the fire button down. I'm just gonna, right. I'm just gonna wait for the penguin to come to me. Nice and safe that way. So you can see with this level, this is kind of where the game starts to give you fewer bricks to do stuff with, um, which can be a bit of a pain. Ah, I nearly got a big combo there. That should be good. So, I mean, this is just this is why the nose is just super useful. All right, so this one's kind of a bit of luck just to see. Ah, oh, there we go. That was pretty much a perfect screen there. Cash. Right. Ducks. All right, I'm going to start taking damage, probably, because ducks are really difficult to avoid. Uh, but it's actually not so bad at all, because I kind of want to take damage uh, for level 5. The health management kind of is a thing um, just for actually speedrunning the game. Uh, and I'll explain why closer to the time. Um, yeah, so with this, normally you kind of want to aim the bricks. Um, you notice that I'm not really aiming the bricks. This screen is just terrible, so I'm probably just going to throw away all the bricks. Um, the game just put in the feature where... Um, oh, it gave me some health anyway. Whatever. Um, the game does have a feature where if you just kind of keep failing a level, eventually the game just gets bored of your being bad at video games and just beats it for you. Uh, it won't do it on this one though. This is just a simple one. He says, missing the last butterfly. Thank you. All right, so I should have two screens left. Which are the two screens I've... Oh, no. yeah, two screens I've failed. All right, there's the type of choppers. All right, I need... Oh, that's bad. Okay, so I accidentally just picked up a note. I need to avoid the green notes because I really... Uh, well, some of these obstacles are solid and some of them are very much not solid so you just gotta game why whatever i'm just gonna play this super lame there we go all right so last one so this one uh i'm just gonna keep failing it loads of times because doing this without a nose uh is super painful with the uh with the ducks Game, pity me, pity me. I said pity me, game, come on. Game, I'm really bad at the game. Come on, game. I promise you that... No. Oh, occasionally if you fail, it gives you the chance to play a crossword puzzle. Because that's definitely something we need. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Finally. Right. That's the last one, and the cat's going to appear over here. All right, and now we level four. So, now we're in a pretty good position because we only need um, one um, one note. Fortunately, we need a fair bit of money, so I'm going to try and complete probably a couple of screens with some decent combos. Maybe one screen. One screen sh should do it, but I need to be really good with uh, collecting money. Unless it gives me like a green right away. Okay, it's giving me a green right away. No, 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 I'm gonna fail. No, I'm not gonna fail. Okay, good, I got the whiz bonus, excellent. That was a necessary bonus. Right, so, uh, hidden screen. Let's go. All right, so first I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna get the flying scarf. I also need the bonbon. So first I'm just going to get some money. Alright, 
bring down the balloon, buy myself a bonbon, and uh, go for a flight. Now, in order to fly, obviously you need a flying scarf. There's no way you can fly without a flying scarf. That would be madness. Uh, we are not going to go to level 6. I mean, we are, but we're not going to go there yet. But we are going to steal the cross from the church. Acquire. Alright, I need to... Now, in my practice run, I've completely forgot to get the match from here, so I need to remember to get the match this time. I need to finish with the match and the cross and the shovel. And now we're playing Lucky Dip! So, uh, I need to swap various items, basically. So, uh, I need the bear. No, I don't. I need the ring. Oh, I had the ring. Ring, ring, bear. And I need the spikes cola. Alright, so I need to make sure I've got the... I need the cross. Where's my cross? I need... Give me my cross back. Give me my cross. There's my cross. Alright, so I need... Uh, cross shovel match. Alright, because I gave the clown the spikes to Cola, he sends me down underground here, and because I've got the shovel, I can go digging. And we dig in. And what do you do when you keep digging? You find lots and lots of bones, obviously a cat. Little kitten, we're saving kittens. I mean, a video game basically about saving kittens was is what the internet is designed for. It's just a shame it didn't happen. Right, goes to Whiskey Pass. I did not take nearly enough damage. This is going to be fun. Uh, yes. So, uh, remember I said earlier that taking damage was okay. I completely forgot about taking more damage in level four because it didn't last nearly as long as I thought it would. Um, and I thought the ducks were going to hurt me a lot more in the third level as well. Oops. Anyway, so the gimmick of this is, uh, in order to beat this level, in order to solve this puzzle, I have to die. Um, now you might think, oh man, these enemies are moving really fast, you can just die quite easily. But, unfortunately, uh, Whiskid is completely invincible. So, oh, fun times. So how do you die, you ask? Well, I'm very glad you asked, invisible person, because uh, we're going to find out very soon as long as we can get some correct coloured notes. I need some greens and blues. Those are not greens or blues, that's it. Alright, greens and blues. It's also a good thing you can't die conventionally because... Oh, I accidentally slaughtered that room. Dang. Alright, let's try this again. Blues and greens. Blues and greens. There's a green. On the other hand, this is a really, really good bounty of money. Alright. Red. Green. I need two blues, please. Blues. Give me some blue. There's a blue. Blue's hiding behind the... Oh, I'm just going to beat the B, I think, because this is the last one in the group. Alright, one more blue. Alright, there's a kitten. I cannot collect that kitten, otherwise it'll take me to level 7, and I won't be able to beat the game. This, by the way, has nothing to do with the fact that I failed to collect enough health. Okay, I actually have a good amount of money. Alright, so I need to go to these hidden screens. Uh, luckily, I have enough uh, to buy two, just in case I mess this up. But, uh, uh, I did mess it up. Whatever. Oh no, I'm taking damage from all the bombs! Let's get another hidden screen. Oh no, I died! Oh, the humanity! Whiskey is now a ghost! And... Once we finish loading... We shall achieve Dracula! And we use the cross. Be gone, vile being! This is not your world! Alright. And now, um, for the possibly two of you in the chat who did uh, play the original Whiz Ball, uh, this is a callback to that game. 
Uh, this is kind of an auto scroller. Um, basically, fire shots at waves and waves of enemies, do a lot of shooting. Um, the only way I can really speed this up is just by uh, clearing the last of the wave quickly. Uh, I miss one, I miss two because I'm terrible at video games. So, like any good uh, R type clone, I could pick up. Uh, and I could stop sucking at video games, would be nice. We can get upgrades on your guns, which is nice. And these guys cannot be defeated, I just have to wait for them to go through. If you've got any messages or anything like that, feel free to chime in, because this is just going to be a lot of not much happening for a while. Alright, well, uh, as I mentioned before when we introduced the run, uh, we are here to raise money for Alzheimer Fondant. And if you're not familiar with what Alzheimer Fondant is, it is the Swedish national fundraising organization focusing on Alzheimer's disease and other dementia-related diseases. So yearly, Alzheimer Fondant Science Council and Board of Directors grant scientists and projects around 30 million Swedish crowns, which is a lot of money to help cure this awful disease. I did take a bit more damage than I'd like. Um, luckily, this level just hands you lots of health as long as you're fully upgraded. It's actually possible to get. Uh, it is actually possible to beat this level without firing a single shot, uh, except at the boss. Um, but obviously, that takes longer. So you have to wait for everything to despawn. All right. And the giant eye, because of course. The mini boss is a giant eye. Ah, we will see him again later. Now we do exactly the same thing, but there's a twist. Uh, the enemies will now shoot back at me. But only if I give them the chance to. The rings do not shoot back at me, so I'm fine with this. Alright, these guys probably will end up shooting at me. Oh, actually, I got rid of the woman quite quickly. Okay, cool. Now we're back at the asteroids. Kind of asteroids, I suppose. Did not mean to take damage there. I uh, probably should have warned you about the flashing lights. Sorry, guys, my bad. Just a thing in the 90s. Happened quite a lot. I mean, loading screens often had the flashing lights. There were very few warnings for that. I'm just going to play that one safe, I think. Choosing, choosing, choosing. Okay, cool. This is actually pretty good. Oh no, I said it was pretty good and then I messed up. Okay. So we've got this second boss again and uh, it's a little bit different now because now we have to fight the little eyes. Alright, got the quick on the first one. Alright, that was actually really handy. So the kitten should be here. There we go. Next level. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed going to space because now we're going to the circus. No, the flashing screen bits is now over. Don't have to worry about that. Alright, so once again we're back to our usual um, problem solving thing. Uh, I remembered to pick up the match this time. I've got a set of hyper choppers, which is actually really good for this level because sometimes this game can, sometimes this screen, these screens can be very awkward. I don't actually need that much money for this one. I only need a blue and a red. So, ah, oh, there we go. Hundred twenty-one. I want it. Which one should be enough? Yes. So I'm going. So I need the the TNT, and I'm going to get a safety star. I think as well. All right. First thing I'm going to do is get these. Okay. So use the match. There is a another thing involving buying the mouse to eat the cheese to get the um uh to to change the weight and go into the drum, but that's for actually whole separate items. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the normal whisk kid because now it's going to get a bit weird when we meet Dog Girl. Sorry, guys, this Are you saying it gets strange. weirder than this? Yeah, 
Yes. I mean, I didn't think it was very weird so far, did you? This I mean, is... it's very random, that's for sure. Uh, um, that's a matter of opinion. Alright, so this is the one where I just need to beat all of the levels, uh, all of the screens. I didn't really want to take damage there, but never mind. It happens. Actually, I guess taking damage isn't so bad. But, um, yeah, just kind of... There's one screen in particular which is the absolute bane of my existence on this entire game. And it's the one where I usually also abuse the this one. Here it is. Okay, so... I actually might try and take this one carefully because it won't it won't give me it won't give me the pity win uh, uh this one because I've still got too many stages that I've not beaten yet. Right. Well, while Jump. we're doing this, do we have time for another donation? Absolutely. Awesome, because we got $35 from Nezik saying this has to be the best game for a Sunday morning. Loving it. So, you know, as we just established, this is a perfectly normal game. Nothing weird at all going on. Thank you so much for your donation, and I hope you enjoy your Sunday morning. Exactly. I screwed that up. Never mind. I might, I might just... The, the problem is, yeah, you just kind of need some really good... I mean, there's no RNG in it, really. But it's just a pain to uh, get right. You kind of just need to bash and hope a lot of the time. Eh. But the clowns do not always like to um, cooperate. Uh, I'm just gonna. Yeah, no. Okay. You can you can time it so you can get that first one up, and the thing will just bounce between all of the clowns forever. But I'm just gonna eliminate this. Jump. Thank you. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep going until that's the last one and uh, just get the pity win. I think it's probably my best bet. Oh, I need to avoid blue. All right. Uh, dang it. why aren't you jumping, clowns? Jump. Well, that could have been. Oh dear. How is that? How is that in range to hit me? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go here. That's my thing. Let's see, right up. up. Nope. Uh, whatever. I'm gonna go. Gonna go for the pity win. Unless, unless. So it pity win. Let's go. Let's go. You can you can get a combo um, set up which just takes out almost all of the clowns. No, don't give me the crossword. Um, but no, kind of need a bigger jump from that. Or I'm looking for the uh, teeth, and I've got to be very careful about picking stuff up because I don't want to touch that blue note. Come on, give me the pity wound. All right, ah, this might be the setup I was looking for. Ah, I missed it. Never mind, I've still got two more of the big ones, though. There we go. All right, I don't need your pity wins game. I mean, I did. It would have been a lot faster, but whatever. <sighs> uh, now we can rex. Right, so level nine. So level nine's a bit different as well. I'm not rescuing the kitten here. I'm rescuing their mother, the cat Nifter, who is um, Whiskey's parents' best friend uh, from the first game. Right, so here, I need to make sure I finish the level with at least 250 bucks, otherwise I automatically lose! And I'll probably attempt to get 500, actually. Uh, hence the... 
nearly finishing the stave. There it is. Alright, so let's uh, get to the screen. Do we have time for one more donation? Absolutely. Awesome! We just got $5 from Tiny Tim saying, Hey all! So amazing to see Amiga runs at ESA! Good luck on the run, Robo! You are brilliant! Cheers! Thank you so oh, much thanks, for that Tiny donation, Tim. Tim. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, check out Tiny Tim later, he'll be playing Dizzy, uh, I think, in two games time when we move on to uh, ZX Spectrum goodness. Uh, which I'm definitely looking forward to. I mean, if if you if 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 a if a game about a disembodied head was a bit too weird for you, maybe you like an egg that solves puzzles. I know I do. Oh, okay. I'm taking damage. Actually, it doesn't matter. I can lose a life. I've got three lives. It said right before I died. This one doesn't matter actually. Life's actually not a problem in this game. Oh my god, the leaves just blend into the rest of the background. Never even realised. Alright, money, money, money. 388. Kind of want. I don't think I'm going to get 500 this rate before the end. I might just, I might just go risk, risk all the way. Um, and just risk mercy killing the run if it goes bad okay don't stop concentrating i'm just trying to concentrate a bit but i hope you guys are enjoying the the j house rock style music offerings i know i am Excellent. Oh, I might make the 500 actually. So uh, I think the music is just really, really great within this game. I like, even stuff like, um, obviously the, the notes coming down, you've got uh, all of that, but then um, we didn't actually get it in the, um, because, you know, the, the dog girl level gets weirder than that, by the way. You can go into head mode and, um, let's go long story short, you jump into the dog girl's uh, mouth when she's barking. Um, and it allows you access to, uh, a gem. You might have noticed in the first level I declined to pick up a diamond. Um, getting all four of them, uh, enables you to, uh, get 10,000 bucks in this level. Uh, which is used for the final thing. Um, Straight like this. Thing. Right. So that is all of the head bopping, all of the puzzle solving done. We have rescued Nifta, the cat. So it's meow. And happily, it provides a translation as well. So this is why we rescued all the kittens. This longboat happily has space for eight people to row. Um, obviously, Whiskey and Nifter aren't going to do any rowing. <laughs> that would be dumb. Uh, but it requires the power of all eight kittens to successfully reach Zark's castle before he does. And if Zark gets there first, he just brings up the drawbridge and you can't get in and it's game over. So. It is time for the final boss. Zark says, so you finally got here, Wizkid. I will only release your parents if you can beat my high score on Wizard Rides. Otherwise, it'll be back to the front end for you. Via the high score table, if you're lucky. <laughs> the coin slot says $250 per game. You insert all your money. Zark's high score on this game is rather large. I will show you before we begin. Uh, we're playing Wizardroids. Uh, I have two credits. I do have hyperspace. I don't really want to use hyperspace. Uh, 55,810. So, 
this is what will be happening for the remainder of the run. Now, it is possible to completely cheese this game uh, by hiding in the corner, uh, just like off the edge of the screen, and you actually cannot be hit. But that is way slower. So I'm going to use that probably as a safety mechanism. This is where I wish I was better at uh, Wizaroids. Wizaroids, by the way, totally original game. I think they should re-release it for a new audience. All right, are you ready for your pew pew pews? This is what level six was trained us for, by the way. It all becomes very relevant. I really hate those UFOs. I don't think I've ever seen it, but um oh dear, hang on. I'm just gonna let him go. Try and dodge the shots. Those things can shoot the, uh, the wizard roads for you, by the way. You don't get any points for it, though, so I kind of don't want them to. But mostly, I just didn't want them to shoot me. Um, no, I was saying, I uh, saw a uh, TAS of asteroids fairly recently. It's absolutely amazing to watch. Just kind of turns things around. Oh, that nearly killed me. Luckily, luckily, uh, I followed my instincts and was just so scared that I didn't move, and that turned out to be exactly the correct strategy. Ah, uh, nearly had it. All right, I'm gonna take a bit of a safety break. I think just because I really don't want to lose the run. Sorry, guys, if it's a bit slow. So this is the cheese strats. Because bullets despawn um, briefly when they get off screen. Come on, wizards. Jeez! You can't see it, but there's lots of um, carnage happening off screen. Alright, that's an extra life. This is useful. I am one fifth of the way there. Actually, it's, it's probably quicker. It, it does speed up, by the way. Gaining points does speed up. So sorry if it's a bit tedious. Uh, but this is the final boss I was given, so it's kind of what we have to work with. I do like the uh, subversion, but it does unfortunately suffer on the replay value part. Which is kind of like my one criticism of this game, I think. Everything else, I just really enjoy all the humour, the madcap insanity. Like I said, conceptually, I really love this as a final boss, but, uh... Oh, okay. Just pilot into the asteroid for me. But yeah, this is the actual final boss, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, and this is kind of why the estimate is quite high. Just because it can go... I mean, there's obviously a lot of RNG and stuff with the notes, but... A run, a run typically just has really good and bad RNG with notes at any given point. It's just a case of when your good RNG is and when your bad RNG is. Uh, this just takes a while. <laughs> Especially because I'm not nearly good enough at asteroids. Actually, there's a bit of RNG as well because sometimes those... Ding... UFOs just pilot straight into asteroids they want to shoot. Got him. We have quite a few points actually, so it's not so bad. Um, by the way, if you've got any like donations or messages or anything, um, I mean, feel free to chime in at literally any point because this is the rest of the run until they get fifty-five thousand right. points. <laughs> well, we did actually just get five dollars from a Mr. Mary saying 
Did you guys know that people from Sensible Software also play in a band called Sensible Band? You gotta check out their Pixel Heaven 2019 performance. Good luck on the British Game Dev block. Also, that was a donation that went towards a bid war for Pokemon Soul Silver Any Percent uh, for the trainer named to be Amiga. Oh, if that's something you want to really? see as well, you can chime in and add to that bid war. Is that the first uh, bid name for Amiga? It is, it is. Ooh. What are our other options so far? Uh, let me take a look real quick. So the other options we currently have for the trainer name is either Kizaron or Sylvain. So you can either vote for those two or Amiga that just came in, or you know, add your own option if you want to see that instead. I might have to drop some money for Amiga later. Yeah, it's a pretty good name. I don't I don't know how to do against against Kizaron actually, but it's worth a shot. And you know, if it doesn't get in, it's all going to a great cause, so why not? I mean, right now it's only $25 behind, so there is a chance. Oh, I can snipe that. Yeah, exactly, and you can get chat to join you as well. Yeah, yeah. I've, got, I've got Amiga money, boys. We're making this happen. And even though he's not playing on the Amiga, I hope that uh, Tiny Sim will help promote it in his run. <clears throat> Hints! Because I know you're watching. <laughs> Very subtle, I like it. <coughs> sorry, sorry, I've got a bit of a cough going on. Um, you know flu season probably I don't I don't think I really explained what's going enough of what's going on with the story by the way um because I did briefly mention that this is the sequel to um uh Whizball. so in Whizball, you save the the land by injecting color and music back into everything specifically save wizard now uh wizard and Whizball get married and Whizball, if you're wondering uh is basically a giant whiz kid head um, uh, wizard obviously wears a uh, big wizard cloak and has a beard and stuff. And uh, if you remember Whiskid's body, it's basically that really, except uh, more cl um, flowing robes and less dungarees. But the rest of the design is very, very similar. So Whiskid is very much the um, son of Whizball and Wizard. And that is who you're trying to, to rescue. You're trying to rescue both uh, Whiskid's parents from the evil Zark. Who also decided to lock up um, Nifter in level 9. And I'm pretty sure in the manual it does say specifically that Nifter was locked up in level 9. Give me oh, I just got him. Alright, this is actually not going so bad. I think a lot of the asteroids are just... The wizardroids. Sorry, wizardroids. Wizardroids, original concepts, do not seal. Um, are lining up for me quite nicely. Switch at the start. Well, since this seems to be still going, uh, we just got another $15 from Flash. Uh, there's no comment, but thank you so much for that donation. Oh. Unless it's the fast flash. Either is, either is good. Alright, I'm actually looking pretty safe. Now normally if this was uh if this was a like a proper non-marathon run, uh, I'd be I'd be out there, you know, grinding it thicker among the uh, among the wizardroids, really getting stuck in. Uh, but it is super easy to just lose lives and just have a big old cascade of doom and death. So I'll probably sneak my way out when it's a hit 50k. Sorry to those of you hoping I'll be a bit more daredevil. By the way, can I get a time check of um, how, how I'm doing roughly at the moment? Uh, you are roughly at 42 minutes right now. Okay. Cool, so should be... Estimates ish. Did have some bad luck, so I'm kind of glad I set a higher estimate.
I don't know about you, but um, I really like the part of this game where um, where Wizkid goes pew pew pew. That's quite fun, actually. All right, fifty k. I think I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna wait till it's a bit safer because these things are just coming out of nowhere and they're all approaching me, which is fun. I really wanted that UFO for myself. All right, let's go. Let's get stuck in. Immediately dies. Immediately <laughs> dies. It's fine. I do. I do need to lose all my lives in order to claim my rightful spot on top of the high score table. Anyway, so that's not so bad. Can I read one more quick donation while you do that? Yeah, do it. Awesome, because we just got another twenty dollars from James Buck saying Amiga for Pokemon Soul Silver. So clearly, someone's listening yes. and agrees with you that we need to take that spot and get the trainer name in Pokemon Soul Silver any percent later on to be Amiga. Excellent. Oh, I picked the wrong time to suicide. Uh, you can only respawn if there's like a bit of a safe distance and everything's in the center. <laughs> Why? Oh, I should have eliminated a few more of these before suiciding. All right. I'm going to start killing myself now. Uh, it's going to be nearly impossible to fail at this point. I'm just going to... Give myself a... Can I say 55-8? I think it's 55-8. This should be fine. I'm just going to get myself to 58 just in case. Right, should be good now. Actually, I'm going to clear some of this off because otherwise it's going to take me ages to respawn. Oh, you got it. Do you want us to be die to hyperspace? I have not used the hyperspace button yet. Oh no, hyperspace killed me! Oh no, uh, that's time by the way. Sorry, I should have mentioned. ESA. Time. Sorry, I should have, I should have counted down to my death. Oh, GG. I think I was slightly overestimate, but never mind. Yeah. I hope oh, you guys looks like you came in just below, actually. I oh, see really? the final time is at 44.46, so oh, you yes. got it. So it says, <laughs> you beat my high score. The strain is too much. I must reveal myself. Uh, body horror incoming. Oh my god, it's Wizard. I've been having a few problems lately, sob, sob. One of Wizkid's parents. What's going on? And to get attention, I faked this whole bogus sham. Will you ever forgive me, Wizkid? What do you reckon? Will Wizkid forgive? I think he seems like the forgiving type. Yes. Oh, no, you see, this is the final part of RNG in the game. There's basically a 50-50 shot whether Wizkid goes yes or no. And then that's it. That's the game. Wizkid. There we go, and uh, credits happening. So, um, this and this is just all of the cast. That big head, um, which does appear if you jump into um, uh, Dog Girl's mouth, by the way, uh, not completely random. Uh, but that is Wizball, Wizkid's father or parent, anyway. I think it's implied that Wizard is the mother, but it just says parents, so I don't know. Nineties. What can you do? Cool. So, uh, I think I'm going to move on to the bonus game Harley Quinn. Yeah, because we did have a donation incentive for you to show off so a little something extra, which did get met. Indeed. The end. I'm just going to make sure everything's set up. All right, so uh, as we mentioned, we are going to see a uh, Harley Quinn, any percent credits warp, as you kindly donated for. So we will be going to intermission real quick to get that set up, but we will be right back. <laughs> 